What's good, fellas? Hope you're all doing well today. We are gathered here to go over Records of Ragnarok, Chapter 91. As usual, there will be spoilers. First, let's quickly go over last month's chapter. Susuno declared he would make Okita's blood boil and initiated a bizarre stance that emitted an astounding amount of pressure. Many were confused about the nature of Susuno's stance, but Kojiro believed it was most similar to the eye stance, although still different from the normal eye stance he knew about. Susuno's siblings know exactly what his secret technique can do. Even his creator Izanagi is excited to see how Okita will react to Susuno's attack. Okita at first is intrigued by his stance and rushes towards Susuno. Upon entering his attack range, he jumps in and out, attempting to bait or find an opening in his stance, but soon realizes that Susuno is leaving no openings for him. Susuno warns that gauging the distance on this move is futile and begins to initiate his attack. Okita believes he made it out of his attack range and quickly notices that he needs to defend against this attack. He narrowly manages to deflect the attack. This move is named the Amai no Magaishi and it creates a huge shockwave after striking, worrying Okita's teammates, but they notice he's still alive. Kojo elaborates that the technique is Susuno swinging at full speed and strength, enabling him to create a vacuum blade at the tip of his sword, increasing its range and destructive capabilities. Susuno is impressed Okita managed to avoid this attack upon first time seeing it. Okita and Susuno both established that if one tries to defend against the attack head on, then that person will be cut to bits. With his injured left arm and a near death experience, Okita is happy that he accepted this fight in Ragnarok and his heart begins to boil even more. This excitement triggers a new demon transformation and Okita declares his intent to break Susuno while Susuno himself is more excited than ever. Susuno did get what he asked for, but will Okita's transformation be too much for him to handle or will Okita fall to Susuno just like many demons that came before him? In the new chapter, gasps of fear erupt from the audience as they behold Okita's transformed demon appearance, noting his chilling resemblance to a true demon. With his new form, Okita is feeling more confident about fighting Susano and races towards Susano once again. Ares believes that he'll be cleaved again, but to his surprise, Okita steps back after Susano releases another vacuum wave. Following this, he jumps, swings down, and deflects the attack. Without pause, Okita closes the distance, aiming a strike at Susano, who manages to block the fierce counterattack. Susano notices that clashing with that move was a bit reckless, but Okita simply replies he'll do even better next time. As Susano attempts to push him back, Okita stands firm, matching his strength, and even pushes Susano back. Admiring his increase in speed and strength, he knocks Okita away, who re-engages, and the two clash blows again. Ares watches in astonishment as Okita not only withstands Susano's attack, but also finds a way to deflect them. Hermes explains Okita's movements that we just saw, and also adds that the Amanogaishi loses strength the further it travels. Using this weakness, Okita managed to deflect the attack. Ares does point out that the attack should be invisible, however Hermes elaborates that factors such as movement in air, gaps in the dust cloud, and refraction of light all together allows Okita to see the attack. Encouraged by this knowledge, Okita strategically closes in on Susuno, preventing him from gathering power for another devastating Amai no Gaishi. Zeus, observing, acknowledges that Okita certainly does live up to his hype. During their intense close combat, Susuno manages to graze Okita's forehead and attempts a follow-up kick, but Okita swiftly evades and maneuvers around him. Susuno attempts to strike Okita, but fails while Okita's teammates marvel at Okita's newfound speed and agility. His boy Kendo states that Okita could even bring 50% of his demon power out due to the disease that ravaged his body while he was alive, but now he can go all out. With his extreme speed, Okita outmaneuvers Susuno, landing a precise thrust on Susuno's right side. 
The human audience erupts in cheers at Akita's successful strike, anticipating his victory. However, Susano remains undeterred, assuming another fearsome stance. He challenges Okita once more, unleashing a devastating downward swing known as Mugen, or Reverse Heavenly Demon Ceaseless, whichever you prefer. Realizing evasion is futile, Okita pumps his heart further, embraces death, and meets Susano head on in order to divert the attack slightly to the side. Susano is even more impressed that Okita managed to react to Mugen for the first try, and Okita himself is surprised by how much power Susano can put into attack in such a short time frame. However, Susano notes that the attack's power is diminished due to its rapid buildup, but he remains confident and declares that his next move will decide the outcome, causing this month's chapter to conclude on a suspenseful cliffhanger. So another short chapter sadly, and a fellow amazing subscriber commented on my reaction vid that Okita's volume still hasn't been revealed, which is incredibly weird. Same with his backstory. I hope these questions aren't rushed in the very last chapter of the fight. What his volume is could most likely be his sword since only divine weapons are able to go toe to toe with other divine weapons. Okita's new demon form is looking cool as always with some impressive speed and power feats that put him slightly on a higher ground than Susano. Speaking of his newfound power, it's insane that he wasn't even able to use half of his demon power due to his disease keeping his heart back. However, we still must keep in mind that Akita's heart is pumping blood faster than ever and could be really detrimental to him later on. Not gonna lie though, I might be Team Okita, but my boy really did get hella glazed this match. Not only is he able to deflect most of Susano's blows now, which is massive big brain on it as to how he does it, but now he's not even letting Susano breathe to wind up a proper attack. Even Zeus was like, damn, this dude ain't no fraud. Although Susano still poses a threat with his diminished strength and even still feels confident about his next move to end the fight. Big words coming from my boy here. Let's see if he can back it up in the next chapter though. That's one thing I respect about Susano. He stands on business and he doesn't fold as a character, still determined to win. Hopefully, all our concerns are answered in the next chapter. And with that out of the way, that brings me to the end of this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And if you want to see more content like this, and comment down below what you think Okita's Volund is and if you believe Susano still has a chance to win. Thank you for all your time. I appreciate all my viewers. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you next time. Peace.